So today's vlog, I'm going to be going to the gym since some people requested for my workout routine. So I'm going to go to the gym and show you guys what I do to get this fat, you know, I like just ate some fun so I don't feel so tired. But we got to go to the gym to get the gains. I'm literally going to go right now. I'm going to pack my bag. I'm going to bring my tripod and everything. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the gym. Okay, so right now I'm at the gym, um, you guys can tell. It's currently like 9.30 something, almost 9.30. And so I wanna see how long I take to finish my workout. But I will show you guys what my routine is. Got me prepared, I brought my water bottle, my bag, and tennis shoes. To be honest, I do not work out in tennis shoes. I usually work out in Crocs. Which I know that is not ideal, but um, I'm really lazy, so. Okay, so um, I can see I don't have my little tripod here, but thankfully nobody is here at the gym because I'm a little shy when I record. This is the fit. I got this shirt from Aeropostal, a buy one get two deal for free, two for free. And then some leggings from um, Hollister. I normally don't wear leggings. I usually wear shorts to the gym, but I could not find none of my shorts at the time. I'm going to put my hair up because I get really sweaty easily. Okay, so the music here is actually atrocious. Um, I normally listen to my AirPods, but I'm recording, so I can't really do that. We're gonna stretch first before we get into our workout. Okay, so I don't really know what these stretches are called, but I do these so that my muscles can get ready for the workouts that I do. And mind you that I'm not a professional, so I just do what I know because I'm still learning. I work out so I can build my dream body and just to be healthy and fit in general. I normally do a split day and divided by the weekdays, but I do that at school and this video is more my highly requested leg glutes workout routine that I have for you guys. Okay, so this is my before my pump of my workout. I will show you guys. I haven't worked out in like a whole week since school, since I work out at school sometimes. So it's been a fat minute. Okay, so now this is bad lighting, but now we're gonna squat. I used to use the um, Smith machine, but I don't use that no more because I felt like it doesn't really let my glutes activate. So this is my warm up. I'm gonna do two sets of just the bar. So it will get me going. And then after that, I'm gonna go straight into three to four sets of 10 with weight. I've been working out since I think December, 2021. And so it's been about two years since I've started. And I'm telling you that I was flat guys. So these workouts really helped me grow what I needed and helped me out so much but as you can see here i have no upper body strength so i need to work on that but i decided to be smart and to just squat it like that as you see here i unracked it this is just the bar and the good form that you need is to push off your knees when you're going up and to look straight ahead because if you look down then it won't be as good and to make sure that your feet are pointed outwards shorter width apart your feet and so yeah i'm kind of stuttering but this is what i did here okay as you can see i'm putting weight for my second set this is 10 on each side because i didn't want to go too heavy 
And so this, it was still a little heavy, as you can see my face. After this, I went into a hip thrust machine that we have at our gym, and I put a weight of 10. This is only my first set, and so I did four sets of 10. For your form, make sure to keep your feet further ahead to where your knees can bend at a 90 degree angle. And then for your chin, make sure it's tucked to where it follows your chest when you go down. And obviously, I didn't do a really good job of that. Here, I was literally contemplating my life because it was activating and burning my glutes so bad. For my third and fourth set, I put a 5 pound on it to make it 15. I don't know how much the hip thrust machine is, but that's the amount of weight that I added. After hip thrusting, I went in to do RDOs, and so I got two dumbbells. I was about to try to do 25, but that was a little too heavy, so I got the 20 pounds. And for RDOs, some people talk about how their back hurts while they're doing it, and so my advice is to follow your legs down like you would be deadlifting. Don't go all the way down if you're tall. So like, feel as if your butt was stopping at a wall behind you. Since I'm shorter, I have to kind of go all the way down to my feet. And after this, I went to Bulgarian split squats and these really burned. I did four sets of eight on each leg. And for my form, I sat on my right leg, then extended my left one out to know where I needed to put my feet. And I bent forward a little bit and went back into my right foot while my left created a 90 degree angle. And so then I did this for each leg. I then went to do some goblet squats and I normally do not add this to my routine. My form is not the best since I don't normally do it, but we're just not going to really talk about it. So mainly just hold a dumbbell in front of you and then you're squatting down. I put a little like board under me for the angle to really get my quads. I then went into leg press and this normally would be the, about the end of my routine. I put my feet at a higher placement to really activate the glutes. I put 25 on each side which made 50, that's why I did that reaction. And so here you see my feet higher to get the glutes and it made a 90 degree angle with my knees. I was really struggling here like I wanted to just walk out of the gym right this instant. I did four sets of 10, and I normally do four sets of 10 for every single one of my workouts. So as you can tell, I went into it. I do not add any more weight. I just keep the same weight and just keep finishing my sets. This is the last workout in my routine, and this is a new one that I decided to do this day, and these are kickbacks. I was struggling at first with my uh, form and setup because I did not really understand, but eventually I got it, and of course I did four sets of 10 also, and I moved a little bit a lot because I was really confused, but as you can see, the pump is pumping, and so this is the end of my workout, and the after results okay so i finished my workout um 10 out of 10 the pump was low-key good after a while so i'm gonna rest because i am super duper tired out my ass like burns okay so i'm just gonna end the video here i hope you guys like and subscribe 
and comment down below if this workout helps you guys but grow. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!